everyone, I'm Vicky. Welcome to our channel. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button. If you are already part of my little sub family, thank you so much. So today's video is what I got for Christmas. Um, I'm not bragging, I just like to show what I have received. Um, I like to look back at them um, so that I can remember the gifts that I've been given. And also I like to watch other people's what they got for Christmas, birthdays, etc. videos as well. I think it's a nice way to get to know someone. I think it's a nice way of getting ideas um, of what to buy for other people or for yourself. Um, so yeah, that is why I'm doing this video. I like to look back at it mainly, so yeah. So I'm just gonna show you what I was given. Um, I'm not gonna say who buy, I'm just gonna go through the items that I've got. Um, but yeah, I had a lovely Christmas. I hope you guys did too. Um, it was just really really nice we had me and myself um me and dan had like a number of busy days so we had um christmas with his family which was just wonderful it was really funny like lots of laughs chats just really really nice and wholesome um lovely dinner um made by his dad as well and then the following day was Christmas Eve, um, so me and Dan went to the church and we um, went to their carol service, which is something we've never done before, uh, something that we've always talked about doing, um, and we really enjoyed it. So it may be like uh, it may become a tradition of ours that that's what we do every Christmas Eve, because it was just really nice. We thought about doing midnight mass, um, but. I cannot stay up late. I get so tired and I need to go to bed when I'm tired. Otherwise I get overtired and then I can't sleep. Um, and then Christmas Day, we spent time with my dad. So we had, uh, it was just me, Dan and the dog in the morning. Then I went and got my dad. I made Christmas dinner. Um, and it was just really nice. Like, I, th I don't know. Like I just felt like I was going to be really busy and everything was going to be like a rush rush. But it wasn't. It was just nice chilled vibes and um, just really nice getting to spend time with my dad he slept over and then Boxing Day we blew the cobwebs off and we went for a lovely walk um, around a lake like we've got where I live um, with Dan's family and it was just really nice like before we went out I was feeling really tired but then like once we'd got the fresh air in our faces like I'd woken up and um, I felt rejuvenated so yeah it's just been a really really nice um, few festive days so I will stop rambling and show you what gifts I've been given. The first category I'm gonna like start with is food and drink so I got some Lindor chocolates um, if my face if it'll go into focus and um, so I absolutely love these chocolates like they're so Moorish you don't need too many of them you just need a couple and it satisfies that sweet tooth they are so delicious I don't usually like high-end chocolate um, I'm more used to like Cadbury's Galaxy sort of chocolate, but um, I do love um, Lindt and Lindor chocolate. They are just, oh, so good. If um, Dan would take me to the, um, is it like the factory museum in Switzerland? Um, I would absolutely love to go there. So yeah, anyway, I'm rambling again. That is the first item that I received this year for Christmas. Um, next I got some miniature ports, um, so we didn't actually buy a big bottle of port this year, um, so I got the Cockburns Fine Ruby Special Reserve and Fine Tawny. Um, so I do love a good port, um, I find it very warming and just like it's just one of those isn't it that you drink during winter months like sherry, it just warms your cockles up sort of thing, so yeah absolutely love port. I'm not a big drinker so the miniatures will just do me perfect. Inside every stocking you've got to have a Terry's chocolate orange so I did receive one for Christmas. Um, absolutely love Terry's chocolate orange. Um, it is too much for me to eat on my own so I will be breaking it up and um, halving it with Dan. So we do usually end up with 10 segments each and that is just enough for me. Um, but yeah, gotta have a Terry's chocolate orange at Christmas. So next up um, from the drinks variety, um, I got these um, squashes which are like portable. So the Frutella one is strawberry flavour, the other is blackcurrant, which are absolutely ideal. Um, I'll pop these in my bag, um, but most likely I'll take them to work so then I can zhuzh up my water and um, have some lovely juice while I'm working away. 
And then last for the food and drink variety, I got my favourite biscuits. These are the Fox's Rounds, um, which is like um, chocolate on the outside and shortbread on the inside. But they are just incredible. I absolutely love them. So once I've finished filming this, I will be making myself a cup of tea and dunking some of these biscuits in that tea. Um, I just love the way that, like, yeah, I'm a dunker. Um, I just love the way that the chocolate melts um, and then, like, the shortbread becomes really, like, smooth and crumbly and, ah, oh, they're just the best biscuits ever. I absolutely love them. So I'm very, very happy. I've got two packets. Um, yeah, these will not last long. It's safe to say that this next item is random. Um, it was given as a jokey gift because I did say, oh, I just want gifts that are useful um i don't like that sounds really ungrateful but i don't really like getting gifts that i'm not gonna use very often i like to have gifts that i'm like brilliant 100 percent. that is me that's gonna get used up i am gonna love that um so the next one is some andrex toilet roll two rolls here which is how many ply is andrex toilet roll because i never actually buy it because of how expensive it is um, I can't see. Two ply! Oh my god, I thought Andrex was more ply than that. That is, I'm amazed. So the toilet roll that I buy from Tesco is actually three ply. Um, but yeah, so I got some toilet roll which is useful. It will go in my bathroom and me and Dan will, uh, yeah, we'll enjoy using this. Moving on to candles, um, I got a Yankee candle. This is in Christmas Eve cocoa um, and it does smell absolutely amazing. Oh, so nice and sweet. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, this is one that Dan did smell as well and he thought it was stunning. So while I've been at home and um, I've been very lucky that I've had quite a few few days off from work before I have to return and I've just really enjoyed the cosiness of my house having my wax melts on and my candles on and all of the lights and it's just been a really really like cosy comfortable place to be I've just really loved it so receiving a big Yankee candle is just something that I absolutely love I love my house smelling really really gorgeous so next up I've got a candle from Next um, this is their New York collection um, and it's Sunrise in Central Park, um, happy and uplifting fragrance and um, I have already got one lit in the kitchen and every time I walk into the kitchen it just smells so lovely. Um, I'm definitely going to be having a look for more of these in store because just it just smells so lovely like as soon as you start as soon as you light it it, it the fragrance that it releases is is gorgeous so yeah i highly recommend these candles they're beautiful um so yeah i'm very very happy to have received one for christmas i thought i'd finished with candles and stuff but i haven't um i've also got some ashley and burnwood lamp fragrance oil um so if you don't know the ashley and burnwood um lamps I will just grab one because I've got one that I need to fill up so it's not lit. And I'm back. Um, so here is a Ashley and Burwood oil lamp. Um, they come in a variety of different colours, sizes, shapes, whatever. Um, and you have a little cap which usually sits on the top. Um, so you pull out the wick um, and then inside is where you put the oil, you put your wick back inside the lamp and, and then once you've got your wick back inside the lamp make sure you put the little cap back on top that stops your oil from um, evaporated. yeah, evaporating so your wick will absorb all the oil you've got to make sure that your wick or the string of your wick um, has absorbed the oil otherwise it won't light properly um, and that is just goes on top so once it has um so usually i leave mine for about half an hour that's usually long enough um then you take the decorative cap off the other cap and um, light it and you leave the wick lit for up to two minutes um and then you blow out the flame it's quite a big flame so it is about 
it's quite a big flame and it is alarming at first when it's the first time you're using one of these oil lamps um, but after two minutes blow out the flame um, this area this surface like this the wick surface will be really really what what the wick surface will be really hot you will even still see some like orange glow from it um, but immediately you'll start smelling the oil fragrance being released um, and that's where this topper comes in and it's sort of like as a fire guard so you pop it back on top so that no one can accidentally burn themselves um, and then you just place this around your home wherever you want it and you just get a lovely aroma um, around your house um, for as as long as you've got oil in um, obviously once all of your oil has evaporated you don't get any more fragrance if you have used half of your oil lamp and you've still got half of the oil in but you don't want you don't want it to be releasing the oil overnight um, you just pop the little cap back on top and then you can save it for another day <clears throat> I hope this has been useful because we did give um, Dan's Nan one for Christmas last year and <clears throat> she didn't know how to use it and I think like I said the flame when you light it is really big I think it just puts a lot of people off um, but they are really really good like you don't have to um, plug them in you haven't got to use any electricity um, these are quite expensive the oil is expensive but it lasts so long and each time you use it it just smells incredible so I personally really really love these Ashley and Burwood oil lamps um, but yeah each to their own so I hope <laughs> that has been useful and I'm not teaching you how to suck eggs so let's get back on to my Christmas gifts, um, which is the Coco Forest. Um, so I haven't actually um, smelt this fragrance. I don't know what it's going to be like. Um, I will say when you open up the bottles and you try to smell the fragrance from the bottle, it is a concentrated um, oil. So you're not going to get the exact smell of what it actually is like once it's burning. Um, when you go to some stores to buy your oils, they do little testers which have been like diluted, which will give more of a accurate um, representation to what the oil is going to smell like when it's burning. And then the next one is like my go-to, which is the Moroccan spice. <clears throat> I absolutely adore this fragrance. It smells wonderful. It's so lovely, like. I don't know I don't even know how to describe it but um they're all really good really good fragrances but um yeah this one the Moroccan spice is my current fave so I'm very very happy with these like I did say they are quite expensive so um I am very grateful to receive these for Christmas and after all that talking I need a drink so I think I will move on to like body lotions um, so I got this um pack which is the fuzzy duck collection um, by is it Bayless Bay Bayless and Harden? Um, so I've got some vanilla frosting fragrance, um, hand and body lotion, some gingerbread latte fragrance of body wash, and some spice spiced gingerbread fragrance of um, bath and shower gel. Um, so they sound absolutely amazing, and I cannot wait to use them. Uh, so yeah they're quite big bottles as well so yeah they're gonna come really handy for making me all spruced and lovely next up I think I will go with a, another random item which is a really cosy hot water bottle um, so I have backache every now and again um, especially when I'm out on my bike um, yeah I just get cold in my back so that is why I've got one of these. I was obviously complaining about a bit of backache um, and <clears throat> it's mainly just women who watch this show but they come in really handy when it's your time in the month. Um, just ah, oh, when you've got really really bad um, stomach cramps uh, just to place it on there it just yes yeah, really nice and soothing. So I haven't had a hot water bottle in years um, so yeah we'll give it a go and uh, see if it helps my backache. 
Next category is clothing. So I'm gonna start with socks. I absolutely adore having new socks. Um, so I did ask for some more like exercise socks, which are brilliant for your trainers. I just love having this big lip at the back. Um, it stops them rubbing when I'm exercising. So I've got two packs of these. So I've got four pairs of new socks. Um, and then I've also got some really fluffy cozy socks which I will use when I am indoors um, and keep my feet nice and warm on a night time. Um, these ones feel so soft um, <clears throat> and they seem really long as well um, but yeah can't wait to pop them on. I have been talking so much I'm really sorry that I feel like I've got a frog in my throat. Um, staying with clothing I've got some pyjamas. So Dan also received the same matching pyjamas um, which I'm so excited about. We've never had matching pyjamas um, and these are just like Christmassy wintry vibes. Um, Grey with trees, snowflakes. Um, so I'm Oh, there's some deer on there as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to us matching. Um, so those are the bottoms and then the top is just in the same print as well. Um, I will try them on for you. So yeah, I will um, show you what they look like on because I haven't tried them on myself yet. So I don't know if they fit. Next, I've got a really lovely lounge set. Um, I know that these are papaya, so matalan um, and I think if these fit and look lovely on, I'm going to go and have a look on their website to see if they've got any more in some other colours because um, they just feel so lovely, like such good quality. So they're just in this like sage greeny colour um, and they're just really long, oops, knocking my lamp, wide legged at the bottom, but you'll see better, um, I will show you, I'll do a try on um, and then I've got a jumper to match which has got um, 1989 written on. Um, so they're like oversized, sort of slouchy, comfy, but um, the quality is just incredible. These feel so soft and um, they're quite thick as well. And next up, I've got another pair of pajamas. I absolutely love having new pajamas for Christmas. Um, so these are the Hufflepuff pajamas. Um, I think these are I think these are Primark. The tags sort of look in Primark y, so I'll say Primark pajamas. I absolutely love Harry Potter, that was brought out during my generation, um, and I feel as if I am a Hufflepuff just because I'm not brave enough to be a Gryffindor, I am not smart enough to be a Ravenclaw. I am not ambitious enough to be a Slytherin, so therefore Hufflepuff take the rest, so I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> With matching bottoms in this like checked print, which is beautiful. Again, the quality of these feel amazing, so soft, so luxurious, I can't actually wait to wear them. And then another cosy, comfortable um, thing that I have got is this gorgeous um, oversized jumper. Um, oh, this is the softest thing in the entire world. It feels like I'm hugging a bear. Um, so it's just lovely. Um, I will hold it up because it's got like a bit of a print on it. Um, again, oh, where my camera? I will try it on. Um, but this is in a size large and I absolutely love this kind of thing being oversized. Like, oh, it's just so comfy and cosy. Um, I haven't tried it on, but um, I will show you guys in a little while. So to go with my new pyjamas and my cosy jumper, um, I've got some new slippers in this boot style. Um, so these are fur lined as well, so luxurious. Um, cannot wait to try these on. Um, my feet are gonna be so warm in these. Um, but yeah, absolutely love new slippers. I love new pajamas, so I'm very happy with what I've been given. So comment in the section down below who else is gonna be going to the gym and getting back into their fitness in the new year. I will. So I've got some new trainers for the gym. Um, these are Adidas trainers and they are just 
lovely. They're a lavender colour with a bit of like purpley blue on the back and pink on the front. Very girly, um, but very nice. Um, I don't know what it is, like I have trainers for outdoors and then I like to wear a different pair of trainers for the gym. Um, and just because when I'm doing outdoor running and I'm like treading through puddles and mud and stuff, I just don't think it's nice to traipse on that inside into a gym environment. Um, so I do like to have a pair of inside trainers and a pair of outside trainers um, so <coughs> I kindly got some more um, and yeah they're so nice they're memory foam um, <clears throat> so hopefully um, I get my um, so hopefully I do get myself sorted out into a good routine of going to the gym frequently if you're still with me, thank you. I promise I'm nearly at the end um, of my gifts now. So I got a um, Watership Down um, cloth bound book by Richard Adams. Um, I have been wanting the Watership Down book for ages, but it's just one of them that like, <clears throat> you're not gonna find in a charity shop. So I knew that I needed to go to a proper bookstore to buy it. Um, and I just mentioned it once and then the person who bought me this must have just been like, ha, and, and, and banked that in their memory bank and then like went out and got me it. And I was so surprised. Um, but it's so beautiful. How beautiful is this book? Um, I actually can't wait to get round to reading it and finding out the story because it's just been one of them that I've never, when I've watched a film, I must not have watched the film from start to end. Um, and so it's one that I feel like after reading the book version I'll I'll have like a full understanding of 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 what it all means. Um I'll not be trying to piece bits together. Um so yeah I'm so happy and over the moon to have got this Christmas. Um <clears throat> yeah it's just it's been on my bucket list for ages and, and now I've finally like I've finally got it. I've finally got it. It's lovely. It's gorgeous. Look at it one more time. Oh it's so beautiful. So sticking with books, um, I got a wedding dresses colouring book, um, which is really, really thoughtful. If you don't know, where have you been? Um, I get married in 2024, so I just like the fact that I was given this and it's like a little nod to like the new year ahead. Um, it was just really sweet. It's really like, you know, just so nice. And then, and then I said to Dan jokingly, oh, well, I don't need to colour it in, they'll all be white. But they're not, they're different styles of dresses. And, um, so if I feel like I do need a bit of relaxation time, um, I can grab my colouring pencils and colour them in. Um, but yeah, the meaning behind this was just really, really nice. And um, yeah, it's so sweet. Another bit of stationery, which again, I feel is a nod to the coming year, um, is this little notepad that says, empty your worries below, then throw them away. So I am someone who, I need to write lists. I have a lot going off in my mind. I need to put them into categories. And um, I, I, I feel like if I don't write stuff down, I'll forget. Um, and I will just worry for no reason. Like I seem to spend more time worrying than actually doing stuff. So that's something I need to work on. And hopefully with this little um, note, like notepad, um, it will help me get through the list of jobs I need to get done. Um, in the new year. So you can't plan and get stuff done in the new year without a diary. So I've got a 2024 diary um, which is lovely, nice and big. Um, a weekly planner so I can easily see what I'm doing and what I've got on each, each week um, and enough space for me to write everything in. So <clears throat> I'm really happy to have gotten one. Um, I always need a diary, it's an essential and it's useful and something I can use all year round. And with that being said, I also got a, another calendar um, which is gorgeous. The prints in this are beautiful. Um, I will get it out for you. Um, so on the back it's got different animals for each month and the sketches are just so adorable. Um, I do love a good calendar in this style, um, they're really handy for when I'm at work, um, 
<clears throat> and it's not just me that uses it at work, um, the other people that I work with use it as well. So I've just got three more items to show you, but I'm going to leave them. Um, I'm just going to quickly jump into the clothing items that I said I wanted to show you, and then I will come back to my last few um, Christmas gifts. So these are the Hufflepuff pyjamas, and they fit wonderful. They feel so lovely and soft. I've also got my slippers on, um, and then I didn't realise earlier, but there's a little like homage to Hufflepuff at the front of the bottoms. Um, so yeah, so nice and comfortable. This is the jumper on, it feels incredible. It's not even that big on me. Like imagine if this was in a smaller size, it'd be like up and up my back. Whereas like in this bigger size, it's actually covering my back, which is good. Um, it's so soft, so cozy. It's got pockets as well. Um, I'm in love, I love it, it's gorgeous. Oh my God, this loungewear is so comfortable. It's so nice as well. I think it fits me really well. The bottoms are quite long. Um, but I like that. I like that they're not too short um, and then they're high-waisted as well. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, I do think they fit me really nicely on the bum and I just love the oversizedness. Um, I love the colour. Um, yeah, so winner. And then lastly, these pyjamas that Dan's also got matching. Um, these fit lovely. Um, they're like straight leg with cuff at the bottom. Um, yeah, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So um, I'm very happy with all of the clothing and pyjamas that I've received. Um, they all fit me really well, they're all comfortable, which is what I love. I love comfortable clothing. So I've got perfumes here. Um, I got some Yardley London Fine Fragrance Collection um, miniatures, so some miniature um, perfumes there. Um, I don't know what this make is. I've never heard of them, seen them before. Um, so if they can be an everyday and I can wear them for work, I will. Um, but yeah, I, from what I can smell, they smell really, really nice. Um, but yeah, I've just, I've never heard or seen this um, make before. So it just took me by surprise. But um, I think that the miniatures, it's four different ones for me to use. I think that's really, really cute and a nice idea. Um, if you've watched my Christmas, um, what I got for Christmas last year, um, I got miniatures of perfumes and I do really love getting miniatures. I think it's a really good way to try out new stuff. Um, and I'm not afraid to try different perfumes. I like to, I like variety. Um, so yeah, um, I'm very grateful to have received these. Like I say, something I've not known about before. So it may be something that I end up searching for myself, um, but I can't comment on how good they are because I haven't tried them. Next up, a perfume that I have tried before, which is the Sarah Jessica Parker. Um, in here I've got Lovely and Born Lovely. Um, I think pretty much everyone will have come across the Lovely at some point throughout their life. Either they've tried it themselves or they've got a friend or family member who wears it. Um, it is just a really nice fresh scent um, and I do like wearing it um, more more than an everyday air. Um, I'd say um, like if I'm going out to a theatre or if I'm going out for like a nice meal with Dan um, it's not like my top 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 end one well couldn't speak then um, but it's not one that I use for like every day because um, I do really like it and then the Born Lovely is it's not quite as like sweet um, it's more of like a subtle sort of smell um, but I I really like that one I do I really really like that one so I'm so happy that I've got it in quite a biggish size bottle um, and then obviously I've got like the five mil little portable ones as well and um, so that is just a proper lovely gift set um, so yeah I'm really happy with that and then lastly um, I'm very lucky to have received this um, I've got the Gucci Flora perfume um, gift set which is the gorgeous Magnolia um, and this smells incredible um, I have been lucky enough now to receive all three so I tried the um, is it the Garnet? I've tried the pink one um, I've bought myself the green one and now I've got the purple one and out of the three um, my favourites are 
the purple one and the green one um but i do think i've found my wedding perfume um this is absolutely stunning so i do think i'm going to wear it on my wedding day um i was thinking about choosing perfume that i used to wear when me and dan first started dating which was the jlo glow um but i don't buy that anymore i don't wear that anymore i don't even know if you can buy it anymore i've not seen it sold anywhere um but i just think i need to be real to myself and and what i like and what i wear and what i do now so um i absolutely love this scent i think it's stunning i like how it smells on me so yeah i do think i have found my wedding perfume so i am very very lucky to have received this for christmas so that is finally everything if you've watched this video till the end thank you very much don't forget to like comment and subscribe hopefully see you again soon but for now goodbye